Welcome to the Zoom Cooking Show by Urius Hotels and Purple Club Superwoman Super Chef Series Episode 2. We have two very young talented beautiful ladies in front of me and both of them I was uh, I was actually you know taken back because when I found such young women are doing fantastic I would say fantastic fantabulous cooking and it's a passion for them it is not just because they're coming to the show it is a passion for them one of them is already start doing business and one of them is already doing a beautiful youtube channel also so i welcome you anu varshini and alina ajay for the show welcome thank you so much sir how are you today anu doing very good sir where are you from anu from tamil nadu sir fantastic welcome welcome to the show welcome sir okay uh, alina where are you from So I'm from Kottayam, Kerala. Fantastic, well, Namaskaram, and welcome to the show again. Uh, I, I, in fact, I, I'm so much excited and I'm so happy because you know youngsters coming to such shows, and your friends are going to watch it, and you're going to share with a lot of people. They are going to get inspired, you know. So that I always love to have this inspirations, happiness to be shared with people rather than we talk about negativity. Positivity is very very important in our life. And I'm thank you very much for coming to the show, and uh, I I think I'm honored to have such wonderful women in my show. Thank you very much. Thank you. Anu, what are you going to cook today? Thank you. Uh, sir, we are going to prepare a rasagulla gravy, a spicy rasagulla gravy. Wow, is that rasagulla? Bitter? Yeah. Rasagulla is a sweet, and you're going to make it spicy. Yeah, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, it is like uh, it is known for its sponginess and its juiciness, but with a small twist. i'm going to prepare a spicy gravy i i really appreciate uh, anu about it and also like uh, i i would like to appreciate the thought you have given to it because you know i say that sweet and spicy you know so it's something this is very different i have never heard about it and i will be loud to watch it and maybe you know uh, take this recipe from you also and would you like to share this recipe with the uds hotels sure sir it's my pleasure and we will make sure that we put up your name onto the board and say this is from anu thank you so much sir. okay alina what are you going to go to cook today hi sir today i'll be going to cook bao buns with a stuffed filling of ba- barbecue chicken uh, lettuce and homemade mayo and this bao buns i don't know if it's it is familiar to many of the people but it's a uh, soft fluffy bun uh, which is a taiwan dish and also street food there So it's like it's uh, made of maida and uh, it is steamed and cooked. I think your your dish of the day is also very amazing. It is totally different from the what uh, the mothers make in the kitchen. I think uh, I'm I'm sure this week the viewers are going to get a, a beautiful treat, and one is definitely vegetarian and one is definitely not vegetarian. I think it's a great combination. And uh, what do you like to talk about? You, I think uh, Alina, I I know that you do you you are already a young entrepreneur. business woman uh, so so can you just talk something about you like uh, it was uh, i started a small business uh, like uh, it's na- it's named home gome and it's uh, to- it's based in kottayam only and we have branched out to Ko- kochi during the weekend and uh, it's particularly nice and i only really started it a month before when i was spend my when i was spending my uh, days in quarantine you know all day boring so i i thought why not we cook up something and uh, send it to our loved one so i started uh, giving it to only uh, my friends in the first phase and then they started you know telling others that it is good and uh, and all this promotion was only word by mouth so i thought okay i'll cook up and i started this mm-hmm. and um, my mom is already a business person so she encouraged me to do it So I had support from my family. I'm sure because uh, uh, after watching today's show, many answers are going to come up with this because I really appreciate because I always say that you are locked down, not knocked down. You know, so even you're at home, you're able to think of something and doing. You know, really salute to you. Thank you very much. Uh, Anu, why you have such passion for cooking? Uh, sir, it started from my school days, uh, from my sixth to seventh standard. uh my grandmom is my biggest motivation uh, she loved cooking from her i got her uh, hand i think so uh, and i started youtube channel uh, like before one month 
uh, named Ashram Kitchen. Mm-hmm. And I will be posting more recipes like Delhi and uh, Rajasthani, North Indian as well as South Indian recipes. Uh, uh, so we... I won't get tired of cooking. Good. Same thing here because you, you are... allow me to cook for twenty four hours. Of course, I am ready for that. <laughs> Same thing here because you wake me up at around four o'clock and say you cook for hundred people. I love to cook because again, for me, cooking is a very uh, you know big passion. So that way, I come out with this kind of cookery shows. And do you know each other? Do you know Alina and Anu? We know each other. Yes, sir. Yes, we know. She is my junior. Oh, uh, yeah. okay. But I didn't say because uh, when I introduce you each other, I, I never see that both of you say hi to each other. It's just that we, uh, we only got a small time to know each other. Like uh, I, I have never been in the college during four, four, five months during the training time, and the rest of the time, only two months we had in the college. So there wasn't a time that we could interact, and you know, so we barely know each other. You are on the second year, second year. Ah, she is in yes, second year. I am in third. I am, yeah. Oh, okay, fine, fine, fine. Would you like to say hello to each other now on this show in my show? Hi, Anushini. Hi, Chichi. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm so happy because impressed because you know uh, these two youngsters, this, this young beautiful woman, are from IHM City, and I would like to definitely thank you know. Uh, Mr. Rashikar uh, Ji, who is the principal of the college, and also Dennis Chef, who have been so, uh, you know, very vibrant chef. I have seen them, and an ex- excellent teacher. I would like to say so. Thank you very much. I would like to thank uh, Rashikar Ji and also uh, Dennis Chef for this uh, making this show happen. And IHM City is close to my heart because my daughter herself is in the college. So apart from that, because I am from Delhi Pusa Catering College, so the, I always have that kind of you know uh, a passion towards uh, the youngsters. Thank you very much. Namaskar, myself Anurashni. I am going to prepare spicy rasagulla gravy. So first, I have soaked rasagulla in hot water for ten minutes, and in another side, I have kept for uh, dry roast thing that is poppy seeds, cardamom, fennel seeds. dry chili coconut now we are going to roast now i'm going to add poppy seeds 1 teaspoon of poppy seeds 1 cardamom 1 fennel seeds 1 teaspoon of fennel seeds Now we are going to stir it. At this stage, I am going to add one teaspoon of coconut. We need to stir until we get a fragrance. Now I'm going to turn off the flame. We know we need to cool down this uh, masala and we need to blend this. Let it cool down for few minutes and we need to blend it coarse. It is blended into a coarse powder. The ingredients are rasagulla, tomato puree, capsicum, butter, oil, turmeric powder, cashew nut milk, cashmere chilli powder, coriander powder, and the masala what we have roasted. Now we are going to start with the gravy. Now we are going to add 
capsicum, around half capsicum. Now we are going to add tomato puree. I have taken around 4 number of tomato and blanched it and cleaned it. Now we are going to add few masalas. Around 3 teaspoons of cashmere chili powder. Half teaspoon of turmeric powder. Half teaspoon of coriander powder. Salt to taste. Now let it boil for few minutes. We are going to add that masala. What we have roasted and let it. One teaspoon of masala I am adding here. Now we are going to add cashew nut milk. I have taken around 5 cashew nuts. We are adding curd to it. Around 5 teaspoons of curd. Now it is time for our rasagulla to go in. We need to squeeze it before it will go into our gravy. I have taken around 8 rasagullas. We are going to turn off the flame. And keep it closed for 5 minutes. We are going to transfer into bowl. We are going to garnish it with rasagulla syrup. Spicy rasagulla gravy is ready and it is the best combo for chapati, naan, parotta and all the North Indian rotis. Thank you. Hey guys, so as I have said, I am going to make bhavan. So I don't know if it is popular among us, but bhavans are a popular dish from the Thai cuisine and it is a famous street food in Taiwan. So uh, bhavans are fluffy, soft, steamed buns. So let's get to making it. So uh, we need maida and sugar, yeast, corn flour, salt and some oil and also some warm water. So first, I'm going to take one whole cup one whole cup of maida and then to that we're gonna add some sugar maybe one or two pinches of sugar salt two pinches of salt and we're gonna add in a tablespoon of corn flour which makes it soft and uh, gives it a smooth texture so corn flour is used for that and uh, we can use instant yeast a uh, teaspoon of instant yeast can be used with it, but I'm using dry yeast. So, uh, dry yeast, I have kept it for blooming. This is half cup of lukewarm water. Don't use hot water because it will kill the yeast. So, here it's uh, half cup of water and one teaspoon of this dry yeast and uh, one pinch of sugar for blooming it. So, we'll mix this gently. Make a well in the center and pour it. And then add in some oil to give it a smooth texture. Once it starts to come together on the safe, you can try 
hands first into the table or wherever you're working places. So, come on, go in there. You can see that door is too watery, so we have to make it into a smooth door. So we'll go by the and you start kneading it. If you need more maida, you have to add it. If you feel that it has gotten a smooth texture, it will be like this, something like this. You have a smooth texture and you will still feel that the door is soft. So we can transfer it to the wall. We'll keep it in a warm place. Usually I put it on my countertop. It's warm, right? So I put it there. So uh, within 30 or 40 minutes, they'll be rising, like double the size. So we'll wait till there. Okay, since we don't have time for 30 minutes, I have already made a batch. And uh, you can see this have rising and double the size. So let's take that out of the box. And the sheet should be one inch thick on all sides and even. So now we'll cut this out. So you can use a cookie cutter, but I'm using whatever is comfortable for me. I can hold it. So I'm using a bowl. Okay, so once we are done oiling all of this, the next thing we are going to do is slightly roll it over. After this, we have to keep it for 10 to 15 minutes so that it will puff up a little and give that smooth texture on the dog. So, after 10 minutes. Okay, and it's been 15 minutes and you can see that these have risen and they have a smooth texture over and next we do is that we steam it in a steamer for 11 to 12 minutes approximately after boiling the water and then we'll be getting the soft fluffy bar buns. You can see the buns are ready and these are soft and fluffy and I'll show you the texture. No, smooth and soft. So you can pair it with anything, you can have uh, fresh veggies, mayo, chicken or uh, even pork. So I'm going to top it off with some mayo. It's a homemade chili garlic mayo. And these are some fresh lettuce. And some chicken. That's it. Chicken fruit balls. Thank you. So Anu and Alina, welcome back to the show. I think uh, it was beautiful watching both of you doing a, a fabulous show, the fabulous cookery show of the day. Uh, Anu, 
uh, with uh, the spicy rasgulla gravy which i have never heard in my life but then after seeing it i i think i would like to definitely taste it if you have been in front of me i would definitely come and taste it it was really superb and the way it looks it was really good and uh, bao buns because i'm hearing it first time and taiwan it is again excellent to the as far as the cuisine is concerned because and i appreciate uh, arina for choosing as such, such a fantastic dish and i'm sure once uh, you know this cooking is the show is over or maybe the people will be people are already going to write a lot of recipes from both of you and they're going to try it out because both the dishes are very unique and i think it is uh, fantastic so what do you feel about uh, the show today anu uh, i feel so excited uh, to participate in this show uh and uh, from this platform i can explain whatever i learn thank you anu thank you. alina what do you what do you, what do you feel about this uh, show uh i feel so grateful for giving me a platform to you know introduce myself to you and uh, i was uh, nervous a little bit because this is the first time i'm uh, doing something like this but thank you so much for giving me such an opportunity to you know uh, uh, Show, show us to the world. Thank you, Anu. Thank you, Alina. And uh, we are actually honored, as I earlier I said, that we are honored to have such young, talented, beautiful woman in our show. Thank you very much. And let's meet up again and come up with a more beautiful recipes. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Welcome back to the cookery show of the Super Legendary Hotel with the Purple Club Super Woman Super Chef. You have seen both the beautiful girls were doing a fabulous dish today. Anu has done the rasgulla gravy, which is spicy gravy, which is something very unique. It's a fusion cuisine, and Arina has done the bao bao, which is from the Taiwan. Both the women, young women, I will say that they were dynamic and they had so much of passion as far as cuisine is concerned. And I'm sure you will love the show again. So from my side, from Yuri's side, I'm showing a very simple dish, which is called very famous. We call kemcho majama in Gujarat. So a Gujarati very simple snacks when you go to their home, they will make it within maybe five minutes. So that's a very simple dish from Gujarat for you, which is called khichu. So everyone does it in a different way because Gujarati some people use garlic because some Jain, so they don't use garlic. I'm using garlic here, and people add a little bit other flavors also. But I'm going to show you a homemade simple khichu. Let's see how we make it. And I have a boiling pot ready here. So what I'm using is a little bit of jeera to start with some jeera, and then I have this ajwain. So I crush it like this and add a little bit of ajwain here. And of course, I'm taking a little bit of green chili. Green chili is up to you how much you want. So I'm adding it as per my spice and a little bit of ginger for the flavor. Yeah, and of course, I add coriander leaves, salt to taste. I will see if it's hummus of rice I'm using, and the most important ingredient will be the rice flour, and which is very easily available. So I'll be cooking it with the rice flour, and of course, I'm uh, using this asafoetida. Asafoetida is of course better flavor. I'm using it. So yeah, it's really good. So the, the water was already hot and it is boiling. So it is ready now. So let's see how we do it. And using the rice flour. Something like you make upma, but then you have to be very careful because you know. Check your salt, and now I am ready to mix it up well. It's mixed well. Close it for a minute with a slow fire. I'm just closing it here. Meantime, I'm going to do my tarka. So my tarka is here ready. Take a bit of oil. I'm 
and mustard seeds, a little bit of garlic here, garlic is just for flavor as I said some people do not like it, some people like it so and I am using a little bit of pickle powder and many people use you know the babaji masala, some people use kitchen king, some people use garam masala, pickles. Um, I want to make it a little bit more spicy and I have done this here. So meantime let me see what is it. Oh wow, it's ready now. So I keep this separately and try to take this out into a bowl. That's masala keju which is ready. And now add this in top. That's all. And when you're serving, you can actually mix it up properly. And I have a little bit more coriander leaves on top again. So that's masala kichu. I can say that because it really tasty, yummy, and because a lot of people they call nashta, which is having in the breakfast time, they have this. So very special dish for the day from myself also dedicated to the woman and please watch our cookery shows especially for the super woman, super chef, Bayou Days Hotels and Purple Twin.